Episode 4. We take care of ourselves every damn day. You've heard it before. Maybe you've even said it yourself. I know I have. You gotta take care of yourself sometimes. And while that sounds like decent advice, let me tell you, it's actually a big old pile of nonsense. You don't just take care of yourself sometimes. You take care of yourself every damn day. Anything less is just setting yourself up for misery. Let me break it down for you with a scene that plays out in households everywhere. Picture this. You're at home, your partner's there, the kids are running around, the cat's doing its thing, and you decide it's time for a shower. Now, instead of just heading to the bathroom like a normal person, you start issuing warnings like you're about to disappear for a week. You're shouting from the hallway, I'm going to take a shower. It's like you're saying, attention everyone. The primary caregiver is temporarily out of service. Please, someone else take charge before the world falls apart. And why do we do this? Because we have no clue what it really means to take care of ourselves. We've been fed these little nuggets of so-called wisdom, like, you should take care of yourself sometimes. But here's the truth. That's not care. That's barely maintenance. We're not cacti that only need a little water every few months. We might not be delicate orchids either, but we're more like a trusty houseplant, let's say a succulent. You still need to water it, even if it's just a bit now and then. And just like that succulent, when we're feeling droopy, it's a sign we need something. It might be a bit of peace, a moment alone, or just some space to breathe. And if no one's gonna water you, well, at the very least, demand that no one bugs you while you're taking care of yourself. You've got the right to a little self-care, and it doesn't have to be an epic spa day every six months. Self-care is about those little things. It's reading a book you actually enjoy, not just skimming through something while the kids read their stuff. It's watching a couple of episodes of your favorite show, even if it means telling your kids, no more cartoons, it's my turn to choose. It's eating that donut without feeling guilty. It's walking somewhere, even if it makes you a few minutes late and not stressing about it. Self-care is also about relaxing without guilt, lying on the couch without thinking about the laundry or the dishes. It's having a hot cocoa in peace while you watch the rain from the window, instead of thinking about what you should be doing next. And you know what? It's also about taking that shower without feeling like you need to announce it to the world. I remember this one time, I got so mad at everyone, I went to take a shower without saying a word, locked the door, and spent a good 15-20 minutes just enjoying the silence. And guess what? The world didn't end. The kids were fine. The pets were fine. No one died of hunger. It was a revelation. So now? Yeah, I might still give a heads up before I shower. Old habits die hard. But I'm done playing the martyr. Taking care of myself isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. And those little moments? They're what keep me from falling apart. So remember, take care of yourself every damn day. You're worth it. Oh,